All right, what's going on, YouTube? Dropping another video for y'all with another product from the guys over at T Ritz. So they sent me a skid plate. Throw that out the way. So they sent me a skid plate. This go at the front of your rifle, down towards the bottom. Um, they don't have too much information on that site about it. Besides, it's uh, it's one hundred and ten dollars, uh, which hmm, ain't too bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, because this piece that gonna help you protect your bike. Uh, they do got their name engraved on the side over here, T Rex. It look good though, and it feel good too. So I don't, I don't know if you call this raw material or stainless steel, but anyhow, it's good because you can easily have this painted though. It ain't coated no color, so you can easily have it painted to match your bike. But this with my green, it, it look pretty good. So I can tell you, I'm not gonna paint it, but I'm gonna. I'm going to show y'all how to put it on. Because y'all know y'all rikers. You got a riker, you know. It sit real low in the front. And, you know, some of this stuff we feel like we don't need it until something happens. You ride, you hit a rock or something, you bust your radiator, you tap something. Then you realize, dang, I should have had that. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And I'm going to show y'all how to put it on. And so this is going to be a short video. I ain't too much I can say about this. But I'm going to show y'all how to put it on or whatever. And I'll be back. Let me get my bike ready. Alright yeah, so to put this plate on, you see we got four screw holes. You got two right there. You got one on each side. So the two right here, they gonna go at the bottom of your bike. I don't know if you can I'm trying to get up under here so you can see this. I don't think y'all can be able to see it. But anyway, two screws up under here. That's right. One on this side and one on that side. And you got your other two screws right here. So you're gonna unscrew those, put the skid plate down there, and screw them back in there. And that should be it. Like I say, I ain't never put this on neither. So here we go. So I'll be back, y'all. Let me take these two screws out, and I'll be back. All right, y'all, so what you'll do, you wanna get your little, little bit like this. I don't know what you call these little bit, but it's a T25, I think it is. And that's how you gonna get the two screws loose. You see how the screw made right here? So you get your T25 and you get them loose. I got the, the one on, on that side loose. I just got to get the one over here loose. Then the two on the side. So I'll be back. All right. So to get these screws right here loose, you still going to need a T25. But on the inside, it's a nut on them. And that nut just going to keep spinning on you. So you're going to have to get you some to put in there to hold it. So I'm going to show you the nut on the inside. Hold on. So that's the nut that's on the inside right there. So you got to get you something to put on there to hold that nut to keep it from spinning. Now I can't get this phone to focus. But anyway, y'all can see what I'm trying to show you. So you get you something to hold that nut right there from spinning. That way you can get that screw loose. So let me grab something right quick. All right, y'all. So I kind of got this gear plate on now, but not really because... They didn't send any screws with it, so the screws at the bottom, you can fit in here. But on the side, these screws ain't long enough. If you have a Riker Rally Edition, the Rally Edition already come with it, like a little small little skid plate down here. All right, so when you try to put this skid plate on top of this, the screws ain't long enough. It really don't fit. So, I don't know, man. I guess the skid plate... Ain't going to be a go if you got a Rally Edition. If you just got the regular Riker and you don't have that uh, protection plate already down there, you should be good. But if you got a Rally Edition, yeah, this skid plate, it ain't, it ain't going to work. So, I'm about to just take it back off. kind of mad because I scratched up my paint a little bit trying to get it on here and it don't even fit. Because the screws on the side ain't long enough. So, I guess that one thing that they might need to take into consideration. They might need to put some hardware in the pack. So if you got a uh, a rally edition, they give you some longer screws that'll fit. But other than that, don't fit, man. So, but it don't look bad though. Actually, I like the way that it looks. But yeah, just don't fit, y'all. So hey, I'm about to take that back off. I'll right, be back in a minute. All right, y'all. So I got to jump back in here and let y'all know. That this skid plate will fit. Because I know when I first made the video, I will finish with the video. 
And then I went doing some research and I see that this skid plate will fit. But in the video, I was telling people that it won't fit if you got the rally edition. So come to find out, you just got to take your factory skid plate off. If you got a rally, it came with a factory skid plate. You're going to have to take that off before you can install this one. If not, it won't fit. So the guys at T-Rex sent me this and I just automatically assumed that they knew I had the rally edition and they just knew it was going to fit. But no, that's my mistake, I guess. They mistake, whoever. But they make them at that on their website to let people know, you know, if you got a rally edition, then you will have to take this skid plate off. Now, on my bike, I'm not going to be able to install this because y'all know I have my bike painted. So, and I got all this painted at one, at, all together, one piece. So if I take my skid plate off, the black's going to be showing and they're going to be ugly. So, uh, I may do a giveaway on this. Or I may keep it, get it painted, put it on later. I'm not sure yet, but I definitely can't install it on my bike. But during the video, I did show y'all how to install it. So all that, all that's still the same. Just know you just got to remove this first. And also, like I say, this 110 on their website. I think k and got it for 130 So you can save some money from getting it from them. I mean, it don't matter who you get it from, but you need to get something to protect your bike because these rikers, they sit real low. And if you ride enough, eventually you're going to hit something. And you just want to be protected. You don't want to tap your radiator. You don't want to tap your uh, your grill down now. So at least get you something to protect your bike. Like I said, and it's, it, it's solid too, though. So a real solid material. It ain't no cheap material. Then also, if you get this, you can customize it. You, know, you can paint this. You can put some words here, your name, or whatever you want to do with it. So it's a good little piece to have. And other than that, y'all, I'm out. I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.